Hi everyone, this is Emma Rudy and Marcos Ruiz. Together we created a short podcast coming from the Bates Documentary Photography class, fall semester of 2023. Our focus today centers around the description and context of one specific image chosen out of the Bates College photo archives and the school's museum. I think it's important to mention the value of this photo we have as it was captured by a well-known sports photographer and depicts one of the most famous tennis players in the world. We hope you enjoy it. Serena Williams is the Grand Slam champion for the 21st time. Here we are. It's Serena Williams again. Two fingers on each hand, 22. <laughs> Championship point for Serena Williams. And Serena smashes Steffi's record. It's number 23. The image we will be discussing in this podcast captures world-renowned tennis player and icon Serena Williams, captured by Walter Ios in 2005, Key Biscayne, Florida. We wanted to explore a few topics and questions that have come from looking at this image. Questions we want to ask today include, how does society see Serena Williams? How does this image shape or change how we see Serena? What can we observe and argue about her intersectionality of being a female athlete of color? Yeah, and before we delve into the discussion and look deeper into the significance of this image, we will first go over a detailed description of our photo from our audience, so you may picture the image even if it isn't right in front of you. The very prominent sports photographer Walter Ios, creator of this image, uses his digital camera to focus on one primary subject, Serena herself, to make a statement piece. Here, the world-famous tennis player sits in what appears to be a limousine. She faces towards her left. However, as we look at it, she's facing towards the right of the vehicle and the camera frame. She appears to be doing her makeup. Her athletic build is so clear here. Her bicep pops out as if she's almost flexed on purpose, even though she's just putting on makeup. She uses a small handheld mirror clutched in her left hand in order to see where she's putting makeup on her face. In addition, Williams sports other accessories, including large gold hoop earrings in both ears and a thick shiny bracelet possibly decorated with diamonds on her wrist. On her feet, she wears black, shiny heeled sandals. I think here the real statement of the outfit is William's pink dress. The bottom brushes the floor even as she sits. It has a slit exposing her cross legs right over left. She sits in the limo with one open seat to her right and two perpendicular to her on the left. The seats are a light cream colored brown, making not only the color of her dress, but her skin pop. Close to her left leg lies a small electronic looking device, though it's difficult to distinguish what it exactly is. It's important to note the image was taken in 2005 when technology such as portable phones and computers were relatively new. The fact that Serena had access to any mobile device at this point in time demonstrates a significant amount of status economically. Additionally, there's a light above Serena's head. The bulb inside is unlit, presumably because it lights up when the trunk opens. On either side of her, are two small TVs on either side of her head. The display of the screen is exactly the same. A man standing facing the camera dressed in a dark jacket, possibly speaking to someone off camera. To the right of Serena, perpendicular from where she's sitting, is a console with the third TV displaying the same image as the first two. On either side of the screen are shelves attached to the inside of the vehicle. They hold various drinking glasses, some with flat bottoms and some with stems. There are no visible drinks in any of the glasses at this point when the photo is captured. On the opposite side of the console and shelves is a small cabinet opening up towards Serena. Inside, there's a brown object and a white one, both appearing like a papery material, but each are blurry and difficult to see their exact state. Behind Serena is the back window of the limo, but it's blurred, allowing us to focus solely on her. On the floor, beside Serena's left foot, as remember her legs are crossed, lies a small brown and white scruffy dog. It faces towards the camera, eyes open, and chin resting on his front two paws. After a quick Google search, I found out that Serena Williams has owned and does own a Jack Russell Terrier, the breed that this dog appears to be. Now, I'm not entirely sure of the significance of the dog itself. My best guess is that Serena has reached a high enough social status at this point in her career that she's both attending a fancy event and allowed to bring her dog with her. The first thing my eye goes towards is Serena clad in her pink dress and the most in focus of the subjects and objects surrounding her. This is an effect of the aperture of the camera blurring most of what is not the center focus of the camera. 
the whole images in color, helping the viewer to focus on Serena as she stands out among dull colors. And the surrounding objects are all sort of this gray, brown, and cream neutral colors that don't draw any special sort of attention to them. The camera angle displays Williams as if she were sitting across from the audience, or rather, we sit across from her. It isn't directly face to face, and the camera almost seems to be lowered down. This angle extends her legs slightly, and we see her face as if we're looking up at her. As the audience, we look up at Serena, adding emphasis on her high social status in all aspects of wealth, race, gender, and sports, all elements which we'll discuss in just a few minutes. Throughout this segment, we aim to unpack the significance of this photo, the setting, what Williams is wearing, the focus, and angle of the camera. Yeah, I agree with that. So many people think of her as this big-time championship winning tennis star as well as a spectacular fem female athlete in general yet this image doesn't highlight that as she's off the court emma and i did some further research on photographer walter ios's page and scrolled through his plethora of documentary athletic photos he highlights many famous athletes including athletes of color throughout his website the majority of the images we looked at were action shots whether it be michael jordan or tiger woods Similar to our chosen photo, Serena is depicted in both the other photos off the tennis court. One is a simple headshot of her with her minimal makeup and her hair done up in front of a black background. The second displays Serena's whole body as she poses confidently with her hand on her hips and looking out over the camera. In each photo taken of her, Serena exhibits and expresses a huge amount of silent yet very strong composure and solidity. While her physical strength on the court is not captured in many of Walter Ios' photos on his website, he frames Williams in a position of power still. I think it's important to talk about Serena as a figure both on and off the tennis court. Right. She isn't just a tennis player, and I think understanding her history as well as dissecting the photo can prove that. She holds immense power off the court, and it's crucial to explore the gravity she has in society as a woman and athlete, especially one of color. What's her role in society? What significance does she actually have? All great questions, and I believe in order to understand her significance as an athlete of color, Let's talk about Serena in society and her career. Williams was born in 1981 in Michigan, but grew up in Compton, California, which is a predominantly African-American community in southern Los Angeles. Serena grew up with her older sister Venus, another great tennis player. As children, the two were encouraged by their father, Richard Williams, to work hard in the sport. The whole Williams family moved in to Florida, in fact, so that the girls could attend a tennis academy after being rigorously coached by their father. Both siblings exhibited massive strength and talent in the sport, and many thought that Venus, being the older sister, would pave the way for the family to championships. This did not end up being the case, as Serena took home the championship title at the 1999 U.S. Open. She also went on to play in the biggest tennis events in the world in the singles category, as well as doubles with her sister. Yeah, I mean, her career really took off. She's competed in the U.S., French, and Australian Opens, as well as the Olympics and Wimbledon. Interestingly, she and Serena ended up competing against each other in multiple events, with Serena coming out on top more than once. Serena Williams claimed win after win, racking up 22 Grand Slam titles by 2016, right before she announced her pregnancy in 2017. Unlike most athletes, Williams chose to return to tennis in 2018 after having her baby. In 2022, she retired from her spectacular career after winning almost $95 million in prize earnings. In an interview with Vogue magazine, Serena stated she was evolving away from tennis toward other things that are more important. Well, I don't know too much about tennis or Serena Williams for that matter, meaning I'm not an expert and I honestly don't follow a lot of tennis. I do know there is more to Serena than her astonishing career. I've heard, seen, and read pieces about Williams' interest in fashion. I do believe this is reflected and recognized in what she wears on the court, as she usually sports brightly colored tennis skirts and dresses, as well as off the courts clearly depicted in our image today. I went to Google a few of her iconic tennis outfits and surprisingly the top search um, suggested searches under Serena Williams was Serena Williams outfits. She's an out of the box type person shown through her unique sense of fashion. Along with her bright colors, William opts for quirky mismatched athletic gear. Take her dresses, for example. There's a lavender one she wore during a match equipped with a tutu-like skirt and only one sleeve. I think this goes to show Serena both stands out on the court as a player and in her fashion sense, as well as allowing her self-expression through her love for women's wear. 
On the topic of her clothing and fashion, I want to circle back to the image we have on hand. As mentioned in the beginning of this episode, Serena is wearing a floor-length, hot pink gown with black studded heels. This image was taken in 2005, long before her retirement from tennis around 2022. I state this fact to point out that Serena has always held fast to what interests her and what she finds important outside the world of tennis, in the era of being women's fashion. For me, looking at this photo of such a powerful and successful athlete, it's admirable to see her being depicted on and off the court, knowing there is context and justifications for capturing both types of images. While one could make the point that capturing Serena off the court may not do her athleticism justice, we'd argue differently. We mentioned her muscles are still quite distinct in this image without her even trying to show them off. Additionally, we believe there is more to her athleticism than pictures of her playing tennis. Ios captures Serena in a way that shows off her social and economical status while still showing her femininity and athleticism. We can see her muscles and natural beauty all in one photo. I see Serena Williams as someone who strives to be an extremely hardworking athlete, but doesn't let that get in the way of her passions outside of her, outside of tennis and her family through her tennis wear, personal fashion brand, and activism and advocacy. Agreed. She's dressed femininely, yet that doesn't take away from the extreme athletic build. This puts emphasis on intersectionality and versatility. Women and women of color can be very successful athletes. And it doesn't take away from femininity at all. This can be really powerful and inspirational for lots of young athletes, especially young women. Something we've mentioned a few times through this episode has been the term intersectionality. With Serena, she's categorized as this all-star female athlete of color. I want to briefly touch on what she's done as a woman of color in the tennis community and beyond. Women's tennis did not come into the spotlight really until the 1970s when the fight for equal prize money began. When Venus and Serena started playing, women's tennis by itself was young, and at the time, I imagine there were not many women of color playing. The sisters paved their way to foster diversity in the game. To wrap in the fashion aspect on Serena's part, she and her sister often wore hair braids during their games, which resulted in a slew of racially motivated, hateful comments. Yeah, nevertheless, Williams continued to play, and her mental and physical strength is shown as she battled in the game and against, who, and against those who verbally attacked her. Additionally, Serena became a huge advocate for the equal pay movement, except this time it was against other women. Serena stated that, quote, black women earn 17% less than their white female counterparts and that black women are paid 63% of the dollars men are paid, end quote. The Williams sisters have also worked to raise over $15 million in support of a low-income tennis facility in Washington, D.C. Whether through making donations or playing through jeers, Serena has paved the way for so many young black athletes to come. I think this whole image can share so much about Williams as a person. Io shares this photo and we look up at her, to her, hold her on a pedestal. It's so representative of the platform she's achieved. Serena has been able to use this social platform to gain this social gain for good. Yeah, I agree. Athletes like Serena Williams have gained this huge social status and platform, and at the end of the day, they're the ones with power to use their presence how they decide. All this goes without saying, the image we have here today can represent a lot if you're willing to take a deep look at it and ask your own questions. We look here at Serena Williams in her bright pink gown touching up her makeup. She sits poised and confident and strong in a limousine. This is so reflective of her as a person, both on and off the tennis court. She's fought to play tennis and worked hard to be at the spot where she is when this image was taken. She's paved the way for young black athletes coming after her with grace and strength. This image is more than a picture of Serena Williams in a car. It encapsulates her passion, her work ethic, and the social status and magnitude she has. She's been able to use her athletic and social status to make a place for herself in the world, as well as inspire the younger generation. We thank you for taking the time to tune into our podcast today, and we hope this has inspired you to wonder more about photography and how each picture you see is perceived. Thank you again.